Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Kellogg's Pep. P-E-P, Pep. Kellogg's Pep, the sunshine cereal, presents... The Adventures of Superman. Today, our story takes a new twist as Matt Briggs, fanatical leader of the Clan of the Fiery Cross, eludes capture and carries new plans for attack to the Grand Imperial Mogul of the Terrorists. Hello there, gang. This is your pal Dan McCullough. Say, uh, have you heard the talk that's going round and round the breakfast table these mornings? It's about this week's pep dish of the week, blueberry whirligig. How about giving it a whirl yourself? First, you sprinkle your serving of Kellogg's Pep, the sunshine cereal, with fresh, ripe blueberries. Then, uh, not carefully, of course, take your spoon and give it a whirl so the juicy berries are all mixed in with those crisp flakes of pep. Finish off with milk and sugar, and that's it, a blueberry whirligig. And is it a snappy treat? What those sunny flakes of Kellogg's Pep can do for fresh berries. How that sparkling sunshine flavor does rise and shine. Mm Mm-mm. Yeah, Kellogg's Pep sure is on the sunbeam when it comes to delicious eating. Did I say delicious? Why, you won't want to stop until you've finished up every flake of Kellogg's Pep in your bowl. And you know, that's a particularly good idea nowadays when the cereal grains are being set overseas. You don't want to waste cereal, so handle the package carefully if you pour your own Pep and eat up every bit you pour out. When Mom brings Kellogg's Pep home from the grocers, make sure you eat all your Pep. Don't waste it. Now, the adventures of Superman. Although Superman captured the action committee of the Clan of the Fiery Cross just as they were about to execute Jimmy Olsen and editor Perry White, Matt Riggs, Grand Scorpion of the terroristic band, managed to escape. For many hours, Superman searched the hills for the cunning fanatical leader, but was unable to find him. Late that night, his clothes bedraggled and his shoes caked with mud, Riggs arrived at a handsome house in a neighboring state. This is the home of Cedric Wilson, Grand Imperial Mogul of the Clan of the Fiery Cross. And as we continue now, in Wilson's library, the white-haired, thin-lipped supreme ruler of the hate mongers faces Matt Riggs, whose slate-colored eyes glow with a strange, burning fire. Listen. You shouldn't have come here, Riggs. I had to, Wilson. The clan's in danger. We'll be in much worse danger if you were followed. Uh, Don't worry, I wasn't followed. Now listen, Wilson. You can't be sure. There's probably a five-state alarm out for you by now. You're a stupid fool, Riggs. Me? Stupid? Why? Yes. No one but a stupid fool would risk the murder of an important man like the editor of the Daily Planet. But I had to, Wilson. He found out who I was. I'd have got away with it except for Superman. Now, in addition to the police, you've got Superman looking for us. Do you realize what that means? Just when we were launching a huge new membership drive? This will cost us 10,000 new members. Maybe not, Wilson. Maybe Maybe nothing. Your fool stunt cost us 10,000 new members who would have paid us $100 apiece for initiation fees and another $25 for robes and hoods. That means over $1 million would have split. So what? What's money got to do with the spot we're in now? What's money got to do with it? Yes, after all, we're not in this only for money. No? What have you been doing with the 25% cut you get on all new members to the Metropolis chapter and the 10% cut on their robes? Giving it to charity? Certainly not. I like money, Sure. But aside from that, I'm, I'm, I'm also working to purify America, to clean it of foreigners. Oh, come now, Riggs. Look, Wilson, I know we're in a bad spot. But if you'll only call in the National Action Committee... Wait a but... minute. Is it possible that you really believe all that stuff about getting rid of the foreigners? That one race, one religion, one color hokum? Hokum? Why, it's the absolute truth. We've got to save America from foreign elements. Well, I'll be... I thought you had brains, Riggs. But obviously something's happened to you. You've become drunk on a slop we put up for the suckers. Suckers? Who are you calling? Our members, Riggs. The poor fish who want to hate and blame somebody else for their failures in life. The saps who believe drivel such as a man is a dangerous enemy because he goes to a different church. The little nobodies who want to believe some of the race is inferior so they can feel superior. The jerks who go for that 100% American rot. Rot! You mean you don't believe... Of course not. You must know there is no such thing as what we call a 100% American. 
Everyone here except the Indians is descended from foreigners. Boy, blast you, Wilson. You talk like a dirty foreigner yourself. I'm running a business, Riggs, and so are you. We deal in one of the oldest and most profitable commodities on earth. Hate. Your mistake was when you forgot you were a businessman and began believing your own sales talk. I didn't make any mistakes. I only had tough luck. Wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. You said you wanted me to summon our National Action Committee, didn't you? Yes. For what reason? To get rid of Perry White and Jim Olson and my nephew Chuck. They got me into this trouble and they can identify me. And they dare to defy the clan of the Fiery Cross. I thought so. You've lost your mind, Riggs. You've turned into a bloodthirsty fanatic. You're a great danger to the life of the clan now, and you've got to be stopped. Why, what do you mean? I'll show you what I mean. It's you or the clan, Matt. Put down that gun. Not until... Ah! Stop it. Stop it, you're breaking my arm. That gun. All right. No, you traitor. Let me go. I'm going to choke it. Finish you off, Matt. No. No. You're a traitor to the clan. And you know what that means? So now I'm going to finish you. Then I'll go back to Metropolis and get White and Olsen and my sniveling nephew. No one can stop me and the clan of the Fiery Cross. When is the next plane to Metropolis? Flight 12 leaves in 10 minutes. Arrives in Metropolis at 4 a.m. All right, I want one ticket. What name, sir? Huh? Uh, Rigney. Uh, yeah, M- Martin Rigney. Just a minute. What? Matt Rigg? That's allowed. Come on, get dressed, Fred, and come with me. Where? Never mind where. This is a clan order. But, but, Matt, all the cops are looking for you. It's in the papers and on the radio. So what? We got a job to do. What job? We've got to get rid of Perry White and Jim Olson and my nephew. Then there'll be nobody left to testify against me, and the clan can go on. Now, come on, hurry up and get dressed. Uh uh-uh, uh, not me. I've had enough of the clan. I don't want to go to that electric chair. Good night. Now, wait a minute. Boy, the dirty yellow rat. <laughs> Get dressed and come with me, George. Nothing doing, Matt. I'm all through with the clan. As soon as the wife and I finish packing, we're getting out of town. Out of town? What's the idea? The action committee was rounded up by Superman and they've squealed. It was just on the radio. They told the cops the names of all the clan members they knew. I'm getting out before the cops come for me. Matt Riggs. Holy smoke, I thought it was the police coming for me. Get out of here. Oh, wait a minute, Tom. Get away from here, I said. I don't want to hear any more of your smooth talk. I'm game for scaring foreigners by flogging and tar and feathering. But murder? Not for me. Go on, get away from my house. Who's there? Me, Matt Riggs. Open up, Bill. Easy. Now, wait a minute, Easy, Bill. Easy, I said it. I'll call the cops. <laughs> Listen, Joe, there's a big job to do for the clan. Uh, all right, you dirty cowards. I'll get White Nolson and Chuck alone. I'll save the clan of the fiery cross myself. Then let me see you come crawling back. Standing on the deserted street as dawn is beginning to break, Matt Riggs, out of his mind with hate, shakes his fists violently over his head, bowing to take the lives of Editor White, Jimmy Olsen, and young Chuck Riggs. <laughs> We'll return in a moment for the tense climax of today's episode. So stand by. Say, gang, you want to pass on a helpful household hint to Mother? Well, if she finds it a tough job to get folks out for breakfast in the morning, tell her how everybody comes a-running when Kellogg's Pep heads the menu. Yes, sir, Pep sure does give your appetite the old come on. Looks terrific in the first place, all golden and toasted and crisp. And does it taste terrific? Why, Kellogg's Pep is called the Sunshine Cereal. It's loaded with sparkling sunshine flavor, a bang-up delicious flavor that teases your taste like anything. And these whole wheat flakes are mighty tender and delicate to be so good for you. You know, Pep gives you solid whole wheat nourishment. Plus, add it all up, gang, and you'll get a sum total of why you'll want to polish off every crunchy flake of Kellogg's Pep in your bowl. And say, here's another angle. 
Nowadays, we're sending the cereal grains to help give good nourishment to fellows and girls all over the world. So it wouldn't do to waste cereal. When Mom brings Kellogg's Pep home from the grocer's, appoint yourself a committee of one to see that it's not wasted. If you pour your own Pep, pour it carefully and eat up every bit you pour out. Get Hep to Pep, gang. Eat all your Pep. Don't waste it. Neither Clark Kent nor Inspector Henderson have slept during the night. Now, as dawn begins to break, both men are in Henderson's office at Metropolis Police Headquarters. His face haggard, the inspector wearily answers the phone, then stiffens alertly. Yes, I heard you, Hilly. Are you sure it was him? He did, huh? Well, did you check it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, stick with it and keep me posted. Right. What's up, Inspector? Get this, Kent. What? A man answering the description of Matt Riggs, using the name Rigney, boarded a state airlines plane in Graham City at 1.30 this morning. Uh-oh. Where was the plane bound? From Metropolis. It landed a couple of hours ago. Oh, was Riggs picked up? No. What? My men were watching the terminal and the outgoing planes. We didn't expect him to fly into Metropolis. I was sure Riggs was hiding out in the hills. Well, he made his way out through an old lead mine. That's why I missed him. You missed him? Huh? Oh, I, I mean, Superman. Uh, lead, you know, is the one substance his X-ray vision can't penetrate. Uh, look, Inspector, Matt Riggs is dangerous. He's got to be found. We'll find him eventually. Eventually? You've got to find him now at once. Take it easy, Kent. The clan of the Fiery Cross is practically broken up in this oh, town. They're scared, and so is Riggs. They won't try anything. Most of the clansmen are scared, yes. They're just sheep who followed where Riggs led them. But Riggs isn't scared. He's, he's a, a fanatic, a dangerous maniac. He, he might even make another attempt on the lives of Mr. White and Jim. Oh, Arthur. nonsense. I've seen other leaders of these screwball hate crowds. Oh, now, wait they a minute. sound crazy when they're up on the soapbox, but it's all an act to enlist members and rake in initiation fees. Oh, no, you're They're wrong. too smart to risk their skins when they know they're on the police list. I tell you, you're wrong, Inspector. Jim and Mr. White both say Matt Riggs is mad. Relax, Kent. We're watching Riggs' house, but Jim and White aren't in any danger. I tell you, they are. And I can't be out in the suburbs watching Mr. White and here in town watching Jim and Chuck at the same time. Now, you've got to send a police detail all out there. All right, all right. If it'll make you happy, I'll send some men out to keep an eye on them. Thanks, Inspector. I just hope they're not too late. Arguing desperately, Clark Kent persuades Inspector Henderson to send special police details to the homes of Perry White, Jimmy Olsen, and Chuck Riggs. But a sixth sense must be warning Kent that they may be too late. <laughs> For at this moment, while dawn is still only a hazy mist on the shroud of night, Matt Riggs stands in the dark basement of his house, having entered by a secret tunnel from his garage. For a long moment, the fanatical leader of the clan of the Fiery Cross stands motionless, listening as the footsteps of the police officer outside the house fade away. Then, his strange slate-colored eyes shining like an animal's in the dark, he starts up the steps to the kitchen and on up to his nephew's room at the head of the stairs. What will happen? Tomorrow brings an episode in which many exciting things happen, so be sure not to miss it. Tune in, same time, same station. And remember, for breakfast, it's Kellogg's Pep. For excitement, the adventures of Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Superman DC comic magazines and is brought to you Monday through Friday at the same time by Kellogg's Pep, the sunshine cereal. <laughs> Say, if you want your dog to give you the glad eye, try giving him Kellogg's Grow Pup dog food at mealtime. There's a dog food that's a big favorite with thousands of dogs. It's got a swell, meaty flavor that goes over big. And there are three kinds of grow pup. There's grow pup ribbon, grow pup meal, and grow pup pellets. All good for your dog. Grow pup has vitamins and minerals. Helps build strong muscles and teeth and bones. Just tell that to mother, and I'm sure she'll want your dog to feed on Kellogg's grow pup every day. And be sure to be with us tomorrow for the thrilling adventures of Superman. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs> 